Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We're going to cover some wildlife tracking, some beavers, some otters, and some other miscellaneous wildlife. Uh, first we're going to look at a beaver track, which is actually something I don't see tracks of a lot um, during the year, but in the snow when they come on land to uh, feed, they do leave sign. You can see here the footprints rather distinctive. And I followed these footprints up to a little bit of a hill to see where they were going. And they were going up to chew on some logs there. Um, I could see the path where they were going up chewing on these logs and then going back to the water again. So we've got a different track here. This one's not a beaver. And you can see. And then a little bit. This is the different animal. It also lives in aquatic habitats. It's a little bit clearer. And I'll show you why it came out of the water in a moment. That track's going to go up just over this little hillside. And it's going to come down to this. There. The animal's done some digging. See where it's been digging in the soil? There. And also, we have a scat deposit here. And if you look at that scat, you could see as well on the camera so I can see in person, but there's a lot of fish scales in it. And with these fish and crayfish scats, you can see what happens to them over time as, as the sun kind of bleaches them out, the fecal matter dries up, and what's left is mostly the scales, uh, like you can see here in this photo. And we're going to go into some differences about beaver and otter and the way they typically swim so you can tell them apart even if you're not able to get a clear view of the animal itself. Uh, if you watch the beaver it tends to be a little bit smoother across the surface. Um, they may also slap their tail so you may hear that. And if you watch the otters you should get the sense that they're more they're more uh, going in and out of the water. They'll, they'll come up for a brief time. They might even stick their head up and, and smell the air. But you'll notice they kind of go back down. They have a very different pattern of swimming. A, we had a surprise April snowstorm. As you can see down this tunnel, you see that dirt. That dirt is where the porcupine's feet got the dirt on them. And then it was coming up through here. Heading up that way. Um, 
the other thing is there's fresh scat on top of the snow, which we can see right here. Porcupine scat sitting on top of the snow. I show up, you can actually see some of the nails here. It's a little bit of a hill, so maybe you had to pull down just a little bit to pull himself up the hill. See the tracks there. And we'll just close this video off with some deer I saw recently and then a great horned owl that I actually spooked in a uh, wetland. Now with the great horned owl I found a lot of times they are hunting early in the morning. It's not only at night. And if you spook one, they'll usually fly to a nearby tree and just kind of set there. So if you just freeze and hold still for a second, watch where the, where the owl lands, you'll often be able to get an additional look at it. That's exactly what happened here.